Hey students, welcome to your first symbolism practice for their eyes for watching God. Let's talk about what you'll need to do for this uh, practice. So the first thing to know is that there are three primary symbols that you can focus on while reading their eyes for watching God. There's the symbol of water, there's the symbol of the tree, and there's also the symbol of hair. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these three symbols to focus on while reading. You can, of course, pay attention to all three and look out for all three, but you're going to complete your practices on one symbol for the entire book. So for your very first practice, you're going to develop a symbol hypothesis, kind of a first impression of what your symbol might mean. And we're going to do this before you even start reading the book. That way you already have some ideas as to what the symbol might mean before um, you kind of see its first use by Zora Neale Hurston, our author. And so what you're going to do is you're going to watch, view, or read um, each artifact that I've given you for the symbol in the order that they are numbered. And for each artifact, you're going to record five facts that you've gathered, observations made, or ideas discovered from the artifact. And then using the gathered information, you're going to hypothesize the symbolic meaning of your symbol. And so that's all you need to do. Let's actually go and look at the document, though, to make sure that you understand. So this is the document where you'll be completing your work and you'll see that you can choose from water, tree, or hair. And for each of these symbols, there are four artifacts that you're going to take a look at. And these artifacts are going to help you kind of develop this hypothesis of what the symbol might mean. And so for artifact one, so say I decide to do water, I will watch the video artifact. You'll notice that all of them are video, 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 research, 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 image, 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 literature, literature, literature. So they're the same types of artifacts. Um, so I would watch the video. And while watching the video, I would get, um, gather five pieces of evidence from the video. It can be just as the direction says, by facts, observations, or ideas that come from the artifact, and I would list them here. Then, based upon my observations, I would hypothesize what I think the artifact is kind of showing about a possible symbolic meaning of water, and I would explain why I believe that to be the case. And then I would do the same thing for the research artifact number two. I would do the same thing for the image artifact number three and then for the literature artifact number four. Just to clarify what artifact number four will be, it's going to be an excerpt from a different book, not from their eyes we're watching God. It'll be an excerpt from a different fiction writing that uses the symbol as well. Now remember that authors can use symbols differently. So just because the author of Artifact 4 uses the symbol in one way doesn't mean that Zora Neale Hurston's going to use it in exactly the same way. Now I did choose this piece because they use them similarly, but there's still going to be some differences and I want to make sure that you know that. So that is what you're doing for your practice. If you're still confused, if you have any questions about what you need to do here, feel free to g-chat me, email me, drop by office hours. Uh, but ultimately, you're getting your kind of first impressions on what the symbol might mean. And then from there, you'll start reading our novel. All right, good luck. I'll see you guys for your next video. Bye.